From what day I may find out Certain people not like me Everyone cook us bag a thing now Makes true me I do it like Nike But me not fear no guy now No matter how hard they must fight me Technology is brought to you by BTC, Burger King, the Cancer Treatment Center, the Cleveland Clinic, Dunkin' Donuts, Fine Threads, John's Department Store, Joker's Wild, KFC, Naughty Johnny's, Percy's Island Games, and Rise Bahamas. Pass me and them girlfriend a link up. That way you did that when they think of no food, clean water for drink up. Now me and the dog, them a link up. Big truck, 20 inch rim, just a spin up. The pioneer just a kicks up And a hip hop or calypso You can't see the star to the tin top Plus me and the Cuban a link up Rose gold so the Cuban link up How much ice just a hurt and me rinse up From what day you may find out Certain people don't like me Everyone cook a smack a thing now Bitch throw me a do it like Nike But me not fear no guy now no matter how hard they must fight me Me just a go and do me thing now Me just a do it like Nike 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 if I tell you the truth, if you dead, me probably woulda like me neither. Fresh to the town, born again. Them said the flow ungodly, my mind need Jesus. Girls call cookies when my mind need river. Yeah, yeah. All when my frost, they can't stand me neither. Yeah. Yeah. Damn excellent, point blank, tell the truth. Police never miss the chin like a Chinese teacher. Yeah, every bad mind fraud, them misses. Them parents get corrupt, so them born negative. How much longer you got yet for people? You know, see you're not benefit. These cars be the jits. From what day you may find out Certain people don't like me Everyone talk a smack a thing now Big throw me I do it like Nike But me not fear no guy now No matter how hard they must fight me Me just a go and do me thing now Me just a do it like Nike 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 That we a go hard and a do it In the sea of flowers and a do it Champion pop off and a do it The girl them a ask say I do it Plus me jeans that a true it As if you never knew it To how we go hard them a ask me a do it Them say me stink a money like sewage Real bad man spend cash like me foolish a wild cat like Buick and the flowers when messing me, I go step in your tulip. From what day you may find out, certain people don't like me. Everyone talk a smack a thing now. Big throw me, I do it like Nike. But me not fear no guy now. No matter how hard they must find me. Me just a go and do me thing now. Me just a do it like Nike. 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 Friday, May 12th edition of Talking Heads is on and popping. And Mr. Producer, we can turn that, turn that speaker down, man. We, 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 we need that today. <laughs> so happy Friday, everybody. And uh, first and foremost, let me just go on record and say, you know, I got to thank my brother from another mother. Earl Thompson, a.k.a. Earl the Pearl, held it down too. Uh, you know, I don't like to make my my personal business too public, if not necessary. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't like to, to, to put my stress on other folks. But, um, you know, my pops went through a little something recently. The dreaded broken hip. Home on demand. And over the last two weeks, it's been kind of crazy. And I just got to say, you know, big up to everybody out there at uh, Air Ambulance Services Limited. Did a great job getting him home. Totally professional operation. Very proud to say that as a Bahamian, we have an operation and an organization and a company that is so thorough, efficient, professional, and gets the job done from door to door like you guys did. Impeccable job. Hats off to you guys. And uh, big up to my crew over there at Commonwealth Bank Cable Beach as well. They stepped in and did some big things and make sure our pop got home safe and sound. So I greatly appreciate that. And everybody who reached out to me here is by the grapevine. I appreciate all your, your thoughts, your prayers, your well wishes and everything. And Pops appreciates this as well. 
And so you know, anybody who knows my pops, he's home in full captain mode, barking orders to everybody. So, yeah, he's on demand. All right, God is good, and thank you all for your support, and glad to know my pops is on demand. As we know, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there, especially my beautiful wife, MJ, and all my sister-in-laws, and all the mothers I know. And for all the dudes I call mother, never mind. This ain't your weekend. No, 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 no. <laughs> So definitely enjoy. And I just wanted to get that out there. And I appreciate Pearlie holding it down two days in a row. Had some great guests as well. And we're going you know, we to continue it today. We're going to open up the lines. We've got lots to talk about. We've got lots to talk about in the 5 o'clock hour for sports. So, yeah, I just want to let you all know I definitely appreciate your support, though, and all your well wishes. And big up to Pearlie for holding it down for me, man. I couldn't get it done without him, man. He's a big member of the team. All right. So let's jump on in right now. I got your, you got your trivia lined up. And you know how to chime in, man. Here's how you chime in all afternoon long for the trivia, as well as when we open up the lines, so on and so forth. And and real easy. In New Providence, 323-6232, 325-4316, Toll free, Ground Bahama, and any one of the family islands, 242-300-5720. Text lines are open, powered by BTC, 422-GR96. That's 422-4796. Stream us live. Take us wherever you want to go. GuardianTalkRadio.com. GuardianTalkRadio.com. Oh, another note. I got to appreciate you all for as well, too. Everybody who uh, reached out to me this week and wished me all the best on Wednesday, on the 10th, as I celebrated 25 years uh, a joke as well, both performing locally and internationally as a stand-up comedian, as a professional stand-up comedian. Still proud to say, I, if I'm not the only one, uh, one of very few who lives in this region and still tours abroad to the States and travels and, and does it. Um, and Spike Lee had a great saying. He says, if you can, you know, make a living doing what you love and get paid for it, then you win. So I've been blessed, thank God, to, to make a living doing what I love for the last 25 years at Joker. So I appreciate all, everybody who supported it, both locally and internationally, and, and all the spinoffs, the Laugh Fest and the Love Fest. And again, big up to my, to my beautiful wife, MJ, good friends and family, and all of y'all who hold me down over the years and wherever I go. One constant is y'all have always supported at Joker's, and I appreciate y'all coming out. You know, we got a great show this weekend, two for one on Locals. Come get your laugh on. But I just want to thank everybody who reached out and sent gifts and all that cool stuff. I really appreciate y'all, man. Real talk. I'd be regressed and missed if I didn't say that as well. All right, now that we got all caught up and we all, you know, back in the swing of things, let's jump on in. Let's get to your trivia. You know how to answer it. Well, I got a good one for you today. And I kind of I kinda shame uh, uh, my behemoths that y'all actually admitted to this. But anyway, recent survey of 100 behemoths, 50 men, 50 women, survey revealed that uh, 42% of the people surveyed, or 42 out of 100, said they have at least one old blank still in their house. What is it? What's the old blank they still have left in their house? You got between now and the news in the top of the 5 o'clock hour to get your answers in. All right? All right. Now, real quick, let me check the text of the hands already. Great show as usual, Naughty. Sorry to hear about your pops. And also, don't put that new extra pool and pool house in your yard. Inland revenue carrying on by. <laughs> let me get to it, Texas. Let me get to it. We get there in short order. I promise you. Let me just have everybody up with the trivia real quick. All right, hit you up with it. So you know what you're working with. While you work on that, well, that's me work on this. Yes, indeed. The headline is who was making headlines in the 242. All brought to you, of course, by Fine Threads. And... uh Right out of the gate, big headlines, you know, in the Nassau Guardian. John, out today, political spat over tax arrears. Sands accuses government of money grab. After uh, Free National Movement Chairman Dr. Dwayne Sands yesterday blasted the government for what he termed a money grab regarding certain actions being taken by the Department of Inland Revenue, Progressive Liberal Party PLP Chairman Fred Mitchell said a DIR Ad warning, said a DIR ad warning people delinquent in paying their real property taxes that the government could sell those properties was misinterpreted. Real property tax accounts classified as commercial residential foreign-owned vacant land or foreign-owned 
occupants that have been in the arrest for more than seven months may be eligible for power of sale, DIR warned. Now, Sass put out a voice note and brought attention to the advertisement. And he was basically saying that uh, if you haven't paid your real property tax for the year, they could sell your property. Now, that's whether you're talking about your home, your business, your land. This is some serious stuff. And you also added the Bahamians are witnessing an, an insatiable money grab. And again, obviously, the way I see it, even if it was misworded, misinterpreted, or misspoken, how this administration loves to do, from the PM right down, there had to be something to this that you put out a flyer. And then I say again, if you're going to put out a flyer, disseminate the information correctly, intelligently, that people can comprehend it and can understand it. Sometimes I wonder, and I see things worded like that, if you're trying to you know, get one over on the average that might not pay attention or may not read Bahamas. Sad to say it, but it's true. So there had to be something to this. Now, I don't know if it's an insatiable money grab, but there's some smoke to this fire. So you have to keep an eye on it. Would say you text us, would say you call us. All right, let me have a look at some of these texts. Sounds like two gals fighting over a man, a.k.a. our tax dollars. They both going after the man money. <laughs> All right, Mr. Producer, in studio, in studio, I want you to scroll down for me. Should be the one, two, three, four, five, six text that you sent me. I need you to contact that person. The first person to say cell phone on the text right here that I'm seeing is my winner. So please contact them and let them know they are my winner. That's the, the first cell phone answer. That should be the sixth texter. And yeah, that was your correct answer. They have about 42% of the people said they have an old cell phone in their house. All right. Now, what say you about this whole inland revenue scenario and the ad that's been put out there? It's definitely a warning. And you have to see where it plays out. But I think there's something to it. You wouldn't go to that length of putting out the advertisement, whether it was misrepresented, misspoken, uh, mis misinterpreted, so on, whatever. It's out there. So maybe the intention is also out there as well, and we have to see where it goes. All right. And, and speaking more about, about taxation and so on and so forth, we have our director of uh, the Downtown Partnership, Mr. Ed Fields yesterday expressed support for the government's position with respect to clamping down on property tax delinquency. And again, here it is again. If it's going to be done, because I do feel that those who are grossly in arrears, who are grossly abusing it, then they need to, to, to pay up. Pay up those arrears or face losing their property. But it can't be the everyday, you know, Joe Blow or Susie Q working hard for the money, going to work every day trying to keep a home that could lose it. You have to look at some of these major offenders with these lucrative properties that have been doing it for years. But hey, again, if you're going to do it, do it right. Because the last time under the previous administration, they started talking about property tax. And one letter came from Life at Key and Bushcrack and Minister them was gone. Now one didn't talk about it no more. So hopefully, you know, when, when we do get the backlash from this, from the folks that don't like to pay taxes and fear the taxes are for the poor, if you know who I mean, I want to see the reaction. And I want to see if this administration holds firm in the stance or if they buckle like the previous administration did. So, yeah, I think that they should be collected, but done correctly within reason. And those who are responsible need to pony up and pay up. Don't put it on the, on, on the back of the small man to make up for the infractions created by the bigger man. Okay. Because fair is fair all the way around. We're going to need a name for that winner as well there, Mr. Producer. I appreciate you. Rulings delayed in Gibson case. And again, I'm, I don't want to speak too much on this because it's still sub judice, but a judge has postponed the delivery of two important rulings in the Adrian Gibson corruption trial. Gibson, the member of parliament for Long Island, is accused of abusing his position as the executive chairman of the Water and Sewage Corporation by getting $1.25 from contracts awarded by the corporation. 
Justice Cheryl Grant Thompson is tasked with determining whether Gibson's constitutional right to a fair trial has been breached by an alleged failure by the prosecution to provide full disclosure. The court will also decide whether Gibson's former fiancée, Alexandria Mackey, will testify remotely or in person. Mackey has, been, Mackey has been granted immunity from the prosecution in exchange for her testimony. Now, prosecutors have applied to allow Mackey to testify by a video link because she's allegedly afraid to return to the Bahamas. According to affidavit to support the application, Mackey was brutally attacked by Gibson in December 21. It is alleged that he choked, smothered her, and tried to gouge her, gouge her eyes out. We'll see where that goes. How it goes. Okay, cool. Oh, we got Madam Producer in the studio today. Well, in that case, I will go ahead and say, you all chime in. Let me know what you think about uh, all of those uh, headlines that I just talked about. In addition to that, uh, you got a couple others. BOB reports 68.87% growth in net income. Private sector help needed as labor immigration law changes mulled. This according to Keith Bell, Director of Immigration and Labor. Inland revenue has been garnishing accounts since early April. So some of y'all up and on, I mean, some of y'all done been paying it, right? So it's going to happen. So accept it. Embrace it. Now, how, how, how we move forward from it, different story. How we're affected, different story. All right, let's go to the phone lines. We got a call on the phone lines. That's a wrap right there on your headliners. Who are what's making headlines in the 242? I'll brought you, of course, by Fine Threads. And let's slide into the buzz. I got a couple of things I'm buzzing on, but let's check out this caller and see what they're buzzing on. Uh, you know, as the, we get into the buzz, brought to you, of course, by John Shoes. Caller, Talking Heads, Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Who's this? Hey, Naughty, what's going on, my brother? Hey, what's happening, bro? Hey, listen. I'm being brave going now. I was one of the vice prime minister in the heart. Reason why I said that, right? As, as I, I hear Dr. Minister was happy holding that title. You trying to yeah, take that title from him? Yeah, as mess up as Minister was. Minister, Minister had his foot on the Bahamian people's neck. But I think brave choking the Bahamian people with his two hands. Because every aspect of the Bahamian, um, uh, Bahamian, Bahamian uh, um, uh, life, brave toxing people. Every aspect yep. of toxin yep. people. And the way and it you seems could, like they want to... You could, the way so you could damage somebody is when you hit them financially. And that's what Brave doing. And look like they want the, the small man to foot the bill for the big man. And only the, only, not only the small man, it's only the behemoth small man with this, which this administration always talking about, listen, we for the grassroots behemoth people. But that's what they toxin. I mean, now what you taking the, the, the insurance from the, from the, from the armed forces? Come on, man. From the armed forces, that, To me, I, I, that, that right there is a head shaker and a head scratcher. You know, and, and now, you know, now I read the property docs, BEC, and I be coming, you know what I mean? This dude just and talks we talked people, about, talks with people. We talked about NLB on this show, remember, uh, call, text and caller, a couple of months back, I said, if they could make that NLB hike, do it now. While it's 1.5% no, as an option, don't later on down when it's 45 or 5 he sitting mark he ain't saying nothing, he ain't doing nothing. Like people like, oh I gotta do it. That that's that's that that's that minister. I got nothing to do with me. But that had to come that had to come across your desk. And still yet yep. they still traveling, 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 traveling. Right now the Prime Minister on the plane right now, I'm going somewhere traveling again. Him and Emin is on the rush. But still I yet he was, just uh, toxin, toxin, and choking and strangling the being people. But my thing about it is Kuala. If you don't know about your administration and you're the chief, then who's running the show? And if you don't know what's going on with your administration, why are you in opposition? Then do my favor, please. Stop playing Fred Mitchell voice note, because ain't nobody at the Fred Mitchell mind. Either use the chairman or use the minister of foreign affairs. So if, if you can play Fred Mitchell, then you got to play, um, um, you got to play Dwayne Sons, and you got to play the lady from the COI, uh, uh, the green lady. Please do the baby. Please do your listen public a favor. We really annoyed a Fred Mitchell. We really annoyed him. But you still listen so to them voice notes? I no. blame you. They no, the I hear it, I, 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 completely. Many I hear it, I, shut the t I, I cut the radio off, or I, I don't even listen to his voice notes. Because it's annoying. But my question it's is, annoying. they have a media branch that's actually playing those voice notes, right? I don't know. I think, I think they've been on the wrong mistake, and let me research that. But again, again, that man needs to figure out 
which hat he's wearing. Is it chairman? Or is it MP? Or minister of foreign affairs? No, I mean, again, I, I just can't get over the fact that these people are just taxing. They're just taking, 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 taking. And they can't give no account. They can't give no breakdown. They can't show nothing. We and Grandma are still struggling. They still ain't doing that with the hotel. The airport, that's still just a pipe dream. So we, we and Grandma are still struggling. So still, yeah, these people are just traveling and spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning. Every time they put something out, oh, that was a typo. Oh, that was a misprint from my, uh, my no, press secretary or whatever. I misspoke they, they mis- again. Mis- mis- something. When they misspeaking, they misprinting or misinterpreting. Well, they we all know what they do when they test in the water. They, they throw it out. They people I, in the needs of. They throw it out. They see what kind of feedback they get. And if they get negative feedback, oh, that was some, that's, a, that's, that's, that's a mistype. That's a typo. I misspoke. Come on, man. And we then they try to rephrase it and wheel and come again and package it up differently and slide it on through. Yeah, man. We tired of foolishness. I mean, these these people. I mean, they they just. I mean, they 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 they. You know, and you know, I I used to hear them and and um that the menace administration. Oh, the menace menace menace, menace administration. Quiet. The MPs ain't got no no no. They, nobody can say nothing. What this crew doing? Name me one MP that spoke ah. for the Bahamian people. And everybody for, uh, turned that party line. From their yeah, chairman comes yeah. out and says, silence is golden. Everybody is silent. Name me one MP besides the Anaconda Mountain who against the Prime Minister or with this party door. When it comes to crime, when it comes to, I mean, look at a lady who the MP um, allegedly raped. Not a single word from none of the female MPs. Not a, look at the, let look at the male look, MPs. Look, you know, look at the illegal immigration. Not a single word from none of the PLP MPs. In terms of taxing the BMA people, not a single word from the BMA MPs. But still, yeah, they could talk about, oh, menace coming back. Ain't nobody interested in menace. The BMA people would be a fool if they vote menace. Listen, market. the only reason that agenda is being pushed by PLP propagandists is they know that's the only snowball's chance in hell they have to win the next election, the PLP does, is with a menace at f and And it's yeah. clear that's not happening because yeah. nobody on menace run. They know, they know the BMA people that discuss with minister, just the mass talk of minister name, come up, people can start shivering. But you know what, yeah, yep. people, people are getting past that now. People are getting past that. These people, they they doing garbage. And I hope the BMA people eyes open up and see that these people are doing it wrong. Big time. Big time. There's Grandma, no accountability for our natural resources. There's no accountability no, I... for the prime minister traveling and spending. No accountability in none of the ministries. Every no, ministry gotta... is shambled. Every ministry is shambled. Every I union fighting the, against them, the, 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 their respective minister. But I want to ask you this real quick, because of the break. But calling you and Grand Bahama, you texting all the time on a regular. I, I hear Grand Bahama ain't on a PLP run. But they did have gone next go around. That's true? I believe so. I believe so. Because like I say, ain't nothing going on at Grand Mama. The minister of Grand Mama, now if you want her for a photo op, boom, she there. She front lying and set up for a photo op. But when it comes time to doing something, upset. Hey, and you, you know it's you know it's really scary. I didn't think anybody could be more lousy than Doctor Dalva was last night when he was minister for Grand Bahama. Well, and you we saw Minister Dabble. of Health going out and in charge of that, right? We, and Grand Mama, we know Doctor Dalva wasn't running the show. The cook was running the show. Now, if anyone oh. if, the, now, people at Grand Mama know who the cook is. The cook's still running around waiting for trial, right? Still wait. Well, we know that ain't gonna happen either. But me and you could be still locked up waiting for that trial, hey. We already get we we already get sentenced. That's true too. Let me listen to this. You can't find a judge to hear the case. Come on. <laughs> when when two can get locked up for teeth and hot dog or the full store, boom, he's in front of the judge the next day. Now all of a sudden you can't hear find a judge to hear a case. And, and now I need to know why. How how close of a liaison were we with the judiciary that nobody could take this case? Well listen. We we in a mess, man. We in a mess. I just hope I I, um, I don't I don't even know what to hope for no more. Cause you know the Haitians they get no other rights, they get no other say. Now they can make it easier to get Haitians their citizenship. Boy, Carter, we got to get to the break. I appreciate you. Have a good weekend. Happy Mother's Day to you and your fam and everybody, man. And I hear from you Monday. All right, my brother. Congratulations again, man. I appreciate you, man. Thanks so much. All right, let's get to the break. Madam Producer, we'll pick up the text on the flip side of the break. Keep the text coming. And I still got some things I got to buzz about. And I sitting right here, and I watching another donut park. No pun intended.
in the handicap parking. We need to talk about this. And it's so ironic. I've been getting texts about this today. Yeah, we be back on it. Y'all knuckleheads, come out the come out the handicap. And people call you crazy, but they make you handicap. You just crazy. Experience the pure deliciousness of Dunkin's Glazed Donut Breakfast Sandwich. This sweet and savory breakfast treat stacks a fluffy egg and smoked bacon sandwiched inside a split classic Dunkin' Glazed Donut. Make it a combo with lightly seasoned hash browns and your favorite freshly brewed Dunkin' coffee. Stop by your favorite Dunkin' today and take breakfast to a Dunkin' Glazed Donut Breakfast Sandwich. The Bahamas runs on Dunkin'. When I had got prostate cancer, my family didn't know if I was going to live at Cancer Treatment Centers of America. Within days, I got an appointment. They presented me with treatment options, and we set up a robotic prostatectomy. When my scans came back, there are no signs of cancer. They don't see you as a number. They see you as a part of the family. I'm going on with my life. It's a real gift. Call us at Cancer Treatment Centers of America. Paying too many bills and loan payments each month? Shrink your monthly debt payments down to one easy payment with our debt consolidation loan. It also has a built-in savings that pays you 5% interest. Inquire about our debt consolidation loans today. Call 356-7764. Don't mind the noise in the market, you get cash in your pocket. Cause island games is spicy, and spicy is tradition. So when you play, play. guaranteed to play. Island games. We like them mother jokers, we've been here from the start. From the bike to computer. Island games, we can make your dream come true. We playing with island games. Juicy fried chicken, mashed potatoes with gravy, and a hot buttery biscuit for only $5. That's genius. Part of the KFC Genius menu, the KFC $5 snack box delivers on flavor and value. Need to feed more than one? KFC's Great Picks has got you covered. Packed with four thighs and four legs, fried to golden perfection, plus four buttery biscuits for only $20. More genius. Hungry for deals? The Genius Menu at KFC. It's finger licking good. This is Guardian Radio 96.9 FM, Nassau, Bahamas. We got, we got, we got, Mr. Producer, we got, I have some other offenders. <laughs> the Friday mid up edition of Talking Heads is back on and popping right here on Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Uh, 4.38 p.m. is the time. And we can put on shoes. And don't forget, they got a wide selection for men, women, and children. Casual, formal, athletic. And they got all the uh, fast fashions, all your workwear, and all the accessories to match. So be sure to check them out, both locations, Sean's Plaza, Carmichael, and the flagship store over there on Rosetta today. Don't forget, we're live at Duncan, Carmichael, I mean, uh, East Street South location, getting it in. And it's all about Mother's Day. Like I told you this weekend, get the Mother's Day donuts from Duncan. My God, get the donuts now. Get your order in. They'll be available for you at your favorite location, but you know they go fast. So be sure to check out Duncan, Downtown Bay Street, Paradise Island, Palmdale, Burnett Road with the drive through East Street South with the drive through We were live today. Carmichael, the newest location. And out there at the airport, pre-clearance, post-clearance. If you're traveling, take mom some heart-shaped Dunkin' Donuts for Mother's Day. Remember I tell you. All right? All right. Now, let's get back into what I was discussing before the break. There has now been an outbreak again of denied oxygen in the womb individuals who 
one handicapped that love to take up these handicapped parking spaces. But the questions that came up today, and that's why I love the barbershop, the last bastion of free speech in the world, because you get good dialogue and you get some, some good debates going. And I think we're all in agreement that people who selfishly and for no reason take up the handicapped parking space, you all are idiots, for lack of a better word. All right? You all are some insensitive idiots. Okay? We get that. But now that we know we have some insensitive idiots, the question was posed, naughty is ignorance bliss. I Meaning, do these people really know about the handicapped parking zone? Do they know about the rules of handicapped parking? And I, I, I thought the one I said, maybe they don't. Because this is the Bahamas. And it's not a real place at times. So now I got to do my due diligence to find out, you know, exactly what the protocol is for handicapped parking. How do they break down the information pertaining to handicapped parking? And the rules, and, and who is it eligible for? Obviously, we know handicapped persons, but that doesn't just go for persons in a wheelchair. That could be persons with walkers, canes, elderly persons. In the States, I know pregnant women are allowed to park in a handicapped parking. They're allowed usage. So what are our rules and what are our guidelines so we know how to hold these donuts accountable who are parking in a handicapped parking spot? And if there is a fine... I suggest the road traffic department frequent some of these major shopping centers in their parking lot, and they can make a, a ton load of money in fines because you will find violators rewind and repeat. But it is very inconsiderate. Those spaces are there for handicapped persons that want to lead a normal life. They don't want to blind. They just want you to get out of the way and let them do them. My late aunt Kay Thompson lost both legs double amputee, and she was a huge proponent of the handicapped situation, not only for herself, but for other people in the same predicament. And I know a ton of other people that go through it to this day, and it's unnecessary and it's uncalled for. So I, I, I feel we need to penalize the violators, but we need to do our due diligence, put out some information, just reminding the general public as to the protocols of the handicapped parking zone, and then go from there. Once you put out that information, then light them up and do what you need to do. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put the clarion call out again on the show. If you're out and you're traveling, caller, I'm coming to you right now. If you're out and you're traveling and you see an offender, disabled driver sticker or permit or hanging on the rearview mirror, man, take a picture, send it to me when I get on air, and we will light them up and let them know they need to stop doing ish in the handicapped parking. All right, real quick, let me get to the Texas and then the caller. Boy, naughty buddy, I don't know what you and your, your, your caller were talking about, but all of them are the same. They just run in a marathon, PLP and FM. Hope that caller is not politically motivated. But, Text, I got to ask you if you feel the PLP and FM running a marathon, are you politically motivated maybe for a new party? <laughs> just got to ask, just got to throw that one out there. Naughty, is there another country where a chairman be sending voice notes like a chatty high school girl? Boy, I, I don't think so. And if they do, they still not as chatty and high school girlish as, as the ones put out by certain said chairman you just mentioned. Anyway, let's go to the caller. Talking Heads, Garden Radio 96.9 FM, who's this? Yeah, Naughty, how you doing? Hey, what's going Hello. on, bro? I'm doing great. Naughty, what they need to do, you know how in the U.S., I don't know if they have it here, boot the car. Boot them. Yes, put the, put the, uh, the boot on the tire and they can't go nowhere. But let me ask you this question. What happens when the booters buck up on the people who they know and then they buy some lunch and then they don't get boot? <laughs> Well, no, once you boot them, you uh, set, set it up somehow, you could call, hey. But like I said, it might, it might be a friend of theirs or whatever. It might happen, but I think if they just start booting them and somehow, you know, get something from out of it, because like you said, it's very inconsiderate. I know many times when I used to go to the bank, because, you know, security, they know me and everything is VI. They say, you can park. I say, no, 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 no. I'm not parking in no disabled. 
because you know, I, you never know. I might be able to get this able one these days, and I don't want it happen to me. And so I think that's as important. Another thing, Naughty boy, listen here. The Lakers don't better don't let uh, 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 Phoenix win the next game. I got I, I got mean, two things to say. Golden Three. I mean, don't I got let two things to say. I agree with you. That up, I think that that is over. I agree with you on the parking. I think we should look to boot them. I'll continue the public shame until we get to yes. what we're going to do Call with the booting. And Call then we'll the do numbers. both. Write the numbers down when you get on the show if you see any. And just call them out. Send it to me and light them up. I okay, got you. I will. Now, as far as the Lakers go, we'll talk about that in depth in the 5 o'clock hour. Okay. But I told right. Pearlie the other day, I told some rabid brunt sexuals the other day, before I had to blow up the chat group we was in. But uh-huh. if, if, if Golden State should have happened to win that last game, we got a series going seven. Yeah. Because even though Golden State is weak on the road, and I expect the referees to come out with the whistles in the Lakers' favor tonight, uh-huh. Golden State got something. They figured something out how to make it difficult for AD. And now he's playing semi-concussed? I don't know. I'm just being objective as a Laker. If, if they get this game tonight, they go back to Golden State for game seven. Boy, we got to pull out all the mojo. This could be a dog fight. So we'll see where it goes. Now, if AD is not totally concussed and he could play his way through and, and, and be effective like he's been prior and, and not be a, a detriment, Lakers should wrap it up tonight. So we'll see. But we'll talk about that more in depth in the 5 o'clock hour. Let me check some more text. All right. Um, well, yeah, we we got to get to the break. Let's get to that second break now. Wrap up the uh, buzz by John Shoes. And on the flip side of the break, we'll check out the global warming. We're seeking up the planet in 60 seconds or less. All brought to you, of course, by KFC Nassau. And, of course, we're getting them a Duncan during this coffee break, and I'll break down all the goodness some more what's going on at Duncan, and we'll get you ready for the 5 o'clock hour and for the news. All coming up right after the break, right here. That's the Friday, May 12th edition of Talking Heads. Continues right after this. From the fried chicken experts, creators of the Kentucky Chicken Sandwich, comes a whole new way to enjoy barbecue. The KFC Crispy Barbecue Sandwich features a 100% premium white meat Kentucky Fried Chicken Filet stacked with bacon, cheddar cheese, crispy fried onions, and barbecue sauce on a toasted, buttery brioche bun. The new KFC Barbecue Crispy Sandwich is available only for a limited time. Try one today and enjoy a whole new level of flavor. KFC, it's finger licking good. Refined style with elegant taste The fine threads is your place If you want those slots hemmed or just taking the waist The fine threads is your place If you want to look suave and debonair everywhere you go Like you're supposed to be in a video Wanna step out and look great The fine threads is your place Refined style with elegant taste The fine threads is your place Is your place Is your place When faced with an illness like cancer, we band together. And we at Cleveland Clinic in Florida have your back. From advanced cancer treatments to our locations, we're with you on this journey. For every infusion and follow-up, for every step of the way, for every care in the world. Cleveland Clinic in Florida. Get the care you need when and where you need it. To learn more or connect with a local representative, visit clevelandclinic.org slash Caribbean. People, what you thinking? Sign the petition and find out more information at risebahamas.net. 
Experience the pure deliciousness of Dunkin's Glazed Donut Breakfast Sandwich. This sweet and savory breakfast treat stacks a fluffy egg and smoked bacon sandwiched inside a split classic Dunkin' Glazed Donut. Make it a combo with lightly seasoned hash browns and your favorite freshly brewed Dunkin' Coffee. Dunkin' today and take breakfast to a fun and tasty level with the Dunkin' Glazed Donut Breakfast Sandwich. The Bahamas runs on Dunkin'. This is Guardian Radio 96.9 FM, Nassau, Bahamas. Gotcha. On the Friday, May 12th edition of Talking Heads, we are live, Duncan, East Street Side location, getting it in on this free for all Friday edition. It's time to get up into the uh, global one, all brought to you, of course, by KFC Nassau. And listen, people, listen, 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 listen. You know, I, I love me some original and all of that, right? But now that we've established that original run things, um, I got to remind you. Listen here, they got a new sandwich down there, the crispy barbecue Kentucky chicken sandwich. It is off the chain. Barbecue sauce, crispy onions, bacon, cheddar cheese. It is all good. I had me one of them today. It is all G-O-O-D good. So grab one at your favorite Duncan location, all right? Available for your takeout. And for drive through all right? And don't forget that all the drive throughs at KFC open it and fry in until midnight. All right. Let's jump on in. Let's see what's eating on the planet in 60 seconds or less. All brought to you, of course, by KFC Nassau. And where do we begin? All right. I went the wrong way. You got to go back up. There you go. All right. All right, we get to Taylor Swift in a second. All right. Elon Musk says he's stepping down as Twitter CEO, but will oversee the product. Why? Because nobody tweeting no more, because your dumb self is on there, Elon. <laughs> Ava Pilgrim and DeMarco Morgan will officially take over hosting duties on Good Morning America 3, replacing Amy Robach and TJ Holmes. Bo Jackson has been battling nonstop hiccups for a year and underwent a procedure this week to try and get them to stop. Says he's never tried everything over the past. He's tried everything over the past year, including smelling the butt of a porcupine. Man, Bo, who told you to do that, man? Bo knows. Bo should know not to smell the bungee of a porcupine. General Hospital star Jacqueline Zeman, who appeared in 880 episodes of the soap opera over 40 years, has died. She was 70. Micro, uh, Democratic Senator Dianne Feinstein from California returned to Washington, D.C. on Wednesday looking frail and needing a wheelchair, but says she was able to vote. Microsoft says their employees will not receive any raises this year. There will be bonuses and promotions, but no raises. Natalie Portman says she only buys vintage clothing and hasn't bought leather in over 20 years. Taylor Swift fans have pre-ordered her long-awaited memoir coming out on Jul uh, in July, enough to make it number two on the bestseller list on Amazon and... Only problem, there's no memoir coming out in July. That was all due to a fan rumor that was completely out of hand and false. Oh, God. There'll be an NFL game on Black Friday this year, the day after the Thanksgiving on Amazon, featuring the New York Jets against the Miami Dolphins. Oh, yeah, you know Dolphin fans could be watching that. John Malkovich is heading back to the theater from October 17th through the 28th. Malkovich will be uh, returning to the theater to perform... Writer and composer Alexei Igudzman's The Music Critic at venues all over North America, starting in Seattle. And that's a wrap right there on your global warming. We're seating on the planet in 60 seconds or less. All brought to you, of course, by KFC Nassau. All right, let me check out some of the uh, text coming in. Naughty question. I'm not a fan of Keith Bell, but he seems to be doing a good job pertaining to immigration. Uh, let me say the jury's still out. Seeing some good seeing some head-scratching situations, 
So let's see where the whole body of work takes us. The jury's still out. It's still a work in progress. But there has some big, big good has been done. And again, though, there has been some head scratching as well. Uh, Naughty Doc going to lose his job if the 76ers lose? I think so. Doc could get you through in the, in the regular season. He just can't win in the playoffs. Naughty, the Privy Council, the Court of Appeal, and the Supreme Court have all misinterpreted Article 6 of the Constitution. Why did they adjudicate that case for farmers' men? Loftus Roker is on record stating what the intent was. Why wasn't he asked to give evidence? Very good text right there, and some very good questions, Dexter. You think that you want to get the advice of people who have some sort of expertise in the field and who know the, the subject or know the topic or know, you know exactly what, what they're dealing with from their vast experience. But that's something we don't like to do. That was exhibited by the former prime minister during uh, Dorian when two former prime ministers reached out and said, here's some advice, Let, let's try to get some fundraising going, let us assist. They were shunned. You see how that worked out in the long run for the former last administration. And now we have it here again. You don't want to shun people who know. Sometimes you need to incorporate them. Make a think tank with, with people who think. Thinking individuals with ideas and vision and experience. And go from there. I, I, that's a very good text, Texter. Very good one right there. So you all firing your text? Got in a couple. Uh, got a couple more minutes before we get to the news at five. Then we'll be talking sports in the five o'clock hour. Pearlie will be chiming in. So, like I said, get your last text in or your last calls in. We got the news coming up at five, like I said. And don't forget, take those pictures and send me those violators wherever they are. And I'll tell you where you could find some chief offenders. If you go out in the West to Fresh Market, all right, Old Fort Shopping Plaza, it just happened there. Harbor Bay is the mother of it all. That's where all the majority of infractions occur. And I think that's where the repeat offenders hang out. I think there's chief handicaps. Not even handicap parkers. Yeah, that's how bad it is. Go to any one of the super values. This is it anyone in the parking lot. Let us go down. Quality market, let us go down. So plenty of pictures you could take, man. Send them to me. Even if you take them during the day and you want to send them to the text line ahead of time, just send it to the producer and say, hey, don't erase this text. Save this for Naughty at 4. He need to see this. And try to get the license so we can get the number and everything. The make and the model. Yeah, man. When we get it out there, we'll make it happen. We'll make it do what it do, like Ray Charles say. Because there's something that needs to stop. And again, I will get on to handicap parking as far as the law, the rules, and the regulations. And I'll have it for you on air Monday, so we'll be clear. There will be no shadow of a doubt. So when you all know who you are going after, and these offenders that are doing it, you all know exactly what you're looking for, and you know who, who exactly to deal with. And you know when to stand down. And just give me the picture, and I'll take care of the rest. I will take care of the rest. You know how that goes. Naughty, Article 6 is as clear as ice. It literally says, if any parent, if the farmers meant something different, they could have written something different. We don't need an interpretation of plain English. Now, I, I agree with you, text to those of us who read, don't need a, and comprehend, don't need an interpretation of plain English. But some others do. Running around here, some others do. Mm-hmm. I just don't want to go, let it go by the wayside. No, we need some breakdown for some people. Because the average is real. Anywho, anyhow, it's about that time. Getting ready to get to the news in the top of the 5 o'clock hour. So we'll let, uh, you know, get to the break. And uh, after the news in the 5 o'clock hour, we'll be back at you. We'll be talking sports. We'll be talking NBA playoffs, NFL schedule release, and lots more, man. All coming up on the flip side of the break. Right after the news, I see Friday. May 12th edition of Talking Heads continues right after this.
This is Guardian Radio, 96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. Friday, May 12th edition of Talking Heads continues right now. We're up into the 5 o'clock hour. As a matter of fact, uh, the time now is 5.05 p.m. And Pearlie will be chat for Pearlie to chime in. We get caught up with Pearlie. We shoot the breeze with him. See what he got saying. I, I, I know we got a, a, a recap of baseball. He's probably been watching baseball from early today. So Pearlie will chime in and zoom in in short order. And uh, so keep an eye out for him, Madam Producer, please. And while we wait on Pearly, we'll jump in uh, today in sports history, all brought to you, of course, by Naughty Johnny's. Don't forget, it's Friday, happy hour, 5 to 7 out there at Naughty Johnny's. Well, we're the trip out there to the Old Fort Shopping Plaza. Be sure to check them out. Awesome highballs, awesome cocktails, and great specials going on. And don't, they, don't forget, they got a great Mother's Day special happening as well. All right, so be sure to take advantage of that for Mother's Day over there at Naughty Johnny's. As a matter of fact... Let me uh, pull that up for you right now and let you know where they got chefed up at Naughty Johnny's for Mother's Day. You know, they always hook up the specials, man. They always do. And boy, I tell you, um, the Mother's Day special, can't beat that. Can't beat it. Mixed lobster, minced lobster with saffron rice, mixed vegetables, Special lemon berry cake for dessert. All of that, only forty nine ninety five. Yeah, man, hook mom up for Mother's Day, man. You know, break it out for mom. Mom deserves it, all right? Especially if you're lucky enough to still have your mom. Get on out there and do it, all right? All right, now, let's get up into uh, today in sports history. I'll brought to you by Naughty Johnny's. On this day, May 12th, 1917, Omar Kaiman. Became the first imported horse to win the Kentucky Derby. 19 Bulling Congress abolished its white males only membership restriction after 34 years. 1955 Sam Jones of the Chicago Cubs became the first black player to pitch a no hitter. The game was against the Pittsburgh Pirates. In 1957 AJ Floyd won his first auto racing victory in Kansas City, Missouri. 1966 the St. Louis Cardinals played their first game at Bush Memorial Stadium. They won the game 4-3 to three over the Atlanta Braves. 1970, Ernie Banks of the Chicago Cubs hit his 500th home run. 1972, the Milwaukee Brewers beat the Minnesota Twins 4-3 in 22 innings. The game was actually completed on May 13th. 1982, the United States Football League was formed. 1985, the New York Knicks won the first draft lottery, NBA draft lottery. And we all know who they ended up with, Patrick Ewing. And some people to this day still say the lottery's rigged. I wonder why. 1996, Lance Armstrong became the first cyclist to repeat in the American Tour de Pont. 1997, Larry Bird was announced as the new head coach of the Indiana Pacers. 1998, Indiana Pacers head coach Larry Bird became only the third rookie head coach to win the NBA Coach of the Year Award. 1998, the Atlanta Braves tied a National League record when they hit a home run in their 24... 1998... Mark McGuire of the St. Louis Cardinals hit a 527-foot home run at Bush Stadium. It was the longest home run in the history of the stadium. 1998, St. Louis Cardinals manager Tony La Russa recorded his 1500th victory. 2003, Churchill Downs Stewarts announced that they had determined that Jose Santos had not done anything prohibited in his Kentucky Derby win. Sports quote of the day, I've always made a total effort, even when the odds seemed entirely against me. I never quit trying. I never felt that I didn't have a chance to win. Arnold Palmer. I wonder if Arnold felt that way when he was like 32 strokes down on a bad Sunday. Anyway, that's a wrap on today in sports history. I'll brought you, of course, by Naughty Johnny's. We got Pearly chimed in yet? Has the Pearl arrived? Not yet. All right. I'm here. So I'm right here. Thank you, goodness. 
Huh? <coughs> oh, right, you're here. On. You mm -hmm. muted yourself. You trying to steal the trouble. Boy, look here. You better hope the Lakers try to stay out of trouble tonight. Lakers will win tonight, man. Don't worry about that. Uh, you don't sound as confident as you did the other day, Pearly. I'm very confident. I don't sound no different than I did the other day. The Lakers will win tonight. I have no doubt in that at all. Do you think AD steps up and gets it done for him tonight? or I think AD will be in the game. I don't think he will be the deciding factor. I think you're going to have some fellas who can come out. He got to. My boy got to for, perform tonight. And he and I think for he can get off come along with LeBron, he need to perform tonight. I think he can get off tonight. I honestly believe that. All right. We'll see how it goes. I, I don't know, boy. Steph got that look in his eye. What luck that is? You know Steph been there before. Yeah, that luck in his eye for the last few days. They ain't under that eye. Steph ain't there, shoot. Who's Steph, this issue? Do what he have to do. Who's the issue of Golden State? You need, you need help. Big and ain't going to be there. He's a game time no, decision. Huh? He's a game time decision. Yeah, he might play, but he's sitting going to be there. So who you think they got to watch out for? And go and say, Clay? Clay? Clay is the key. So go Clay, so go the Warriors, eh? Tonight, not necessarily. Clay can try to give it his best, but the shot's ain't going to fall. I don't know, man. I, don't, I, 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 I think we're looking at seven. Uh-uh, just over the night. Big I throw in the league. Big, big I throw in the, the league and the ratings into it now. No, it over they like to go. The fact that Phoenix over, they're anxious for that. That deep, that, that they'll be anxious for Denver Lakers to get going. That over the night. All right. Speaking of Phoenix, that was a great segue. What's going on with DeAndre Ayton? Because I can he tell you be, now, he won't be a Phoenix. He won't be a Phoenix Steve, son come the new season. That's fine, but Stephen A. Smith. He need to go easy. I'll just pop off on ESPN. You know how to behave me in hashtag CYC. Yeah, but he say, what, did, what did Stephen A. Smith say that was so wrong? He said, my boy need to go home to the Bahamas and chill till they tell him what's going on. I had no the, problem with that, young, young but he stressed the Bahamas very was. condescending. He was very so condescending he said, when he said from. Bahamas. He said, that's where he's from. He said, that's where he's like from. Like a third world nation. Maybe some banana no, republic. No, Tina, you you interpreting things because you don't like Stephen A. Smith. He ain't saying nothing but you no. You know Steve is my this. boy. Now hold on. Steve is my boy. Stephen A. Smith said he needs to go to the Bahamas and chill till they call him and tell him what his new team is. The guy said, "Why the Bahamas? That's where he's from. That's all they say. You need to go home. You need to come home, get some conch salad, some conch fritters, some good home cooking, well, and see if he can get it back together because he look bad. Hold on. I'm being honest. I would like to be a true Bahamian right now. I can be a real Bahamian. He don't need to come to the Bahamas. Stephen A. need to look on the inside of his jacket draft night. There was tree flag in there. I believe it's the mother two flag would got him playing like a donut and not the Bahamian one. Well, maybe so. Maybe you should have told him go there. Anyway. He had tree flag in there, but he still identified himself as a Bahamian. He's been on the Bahamian national team. So no, he I don't care where his mommy from. There's mommy from counted. and all that. But... The new, last state, go around. the new law state, your daddy is your daddy, and your daddy does know. All right, he's a bad man. All right, so now, number two, he got discouraged. The Joker eat him for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and spit him out for Drop a snack. 53 on him. He, he needs, and I, I honestly believe, he needs to change the scenery. He needs to go to New I'll take him, you know, come to L.A. He'll be good in L.A. because no Play, pressure. Put him in the middle, and now you got no problem with A.D. playing power forward. Come to L.A., be the starting center, 80s, you power forward. You got the And all you got to do is get forward. when 15 and 8 every night and block up a shot and things good. Even he got to get 15, he gets 10 and 10 every night and but five blocks up and we good. No, but I, I want him to get the 15 so he don't start crying, but he won the ball and he could score and he's a big man and all of that. But I think there's potential there. Lakers may be able to get him. Dallas wants and you look him at though. other teams. Uh, Dallas, Dallas is the team that him. wants him, though. I had a Mavericks a, him, yeah. a break. I don't blame him. I'll do it, too. Him and and, and Luca is a nice but little setup right there. I don't, 
but the thing is, oh, Dallas doesn't do what Phoenix did. Phoenix traded away too many people that had no bench. Phoenix had no bench, and that was that was, that told in the right. playoffs. Dallas ain't got no bench after they traded for Kyrie. So they gotta exactly. get a bench so who they got anyway. the, Who they got to trade? Who they got to trade for? For, for they giving the number one picky. They can give up picks and 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 and, and a player or two, yeah. No, uh, all right. Aiden is probably on the move though. I, no, I, I think he's. I think him and CP3 on the move. I don't think CP3 going to be the starting point guard for them next year. Because first of all, at the end of June, when the new when the new fiscal NBA uh, CP3 salary jump from 15 to 30, hey, I to me, I ain't giving you 30 million because you ain't uh, <laughs> you can't say hey, the court. Well, I'd like to shout out Jackson, a loyal listener man, and pick up the Jackson man. I didn't even know Jackson got got out. I thought he was still lock up. Jackson, you make bail. You get parole. Thank you, Jesus. Well, what you talking Jackson, about now? See, you, you, you talking somebody business. What you saying about these? You mean he no, might come out now? No, no, no. Stop. We on, we on remote. And I had a, a friend from a chat group pop off in the corner. Tell me I in the car talking fool. So I gave him a dose of talking fool while in the car. That's all, Pearly. Oh, okay. I only wanted to make him right. You know? I hope Jackson heard his shout out, man, because I heard from Jackson in the wild. Last time I saw but Jackson, he... he was in a white gang with stripes on. So I'm glad to see you out on your own and no ankle monitor. Keep listening, Jackson. Ah, Thanks, no. buddy. Naughty. <laughs> Yesterday now, you, you, you put me in some hot water. I hope management ain't called you in and tell you to send me home. Why? Right. That's a very interesting four to five show, but that ain't what I call talking about. Exactly no, listen, five o'clock. Listen. Listen, it couldn't have been no more wilder. I mean, Toby's go one on one with the naughty one, man. You good, man. You good. No, I, I enjoyed it. I really did enjoy it. But no, going to the at five oh five, the phone light up. Mystery oh. call. I say mystery. I say mystery. Hold on, man. I got a guest mystery. Come back at five thirty. You can say whatever you want to say. You think I hear back from mystery? Go on. You think I hear anything back from mystery? Mystery ain't going back yet. I tell him, I said, Mr. Chicago, anything you want to say, guys, because the two us, uh, two us right now, three and two, two us get beat, so I don't know what you could possibly say to me. I know. What he could say? Can't say too much. But we'll see. Time he was trying time. to make a quickie. If I know Mystery Dolphin, he used that as an excuse as not to call back. Meaning to say, I tried to call, but you got to guess. I had a guess, and and a very nice guest. We talked about road racing and everything. It was a nice time. I, I actually knew the young lady from the best school in the world. And um and from the oh, best Jesus. church in the world. And um Oh God. Five thirty we were finished. And then he didn't come back. And Missy didn't call back. Oh well. I'm and sure then you didn't leave today. me my last I didn't hear Rich Ice and I was very upset with you because I thought you would have had some play on the NFL uh schedule from Ison or something like that. But I, I waited to talk to you about the schedule today, and, and you know what I was dealing with I yesterday. Upset. I upset. I upset by the I, schedule. I, why are you upset? You get a Naughty, big Black I want Friday to go to the game Dallas against game. The, the Dallas Jets. Game is New Year, the Dallas game is Christmas Eve. I don't care. I don't care. Y'all Listen don't that, get Naughty. beat anyway, so y'all don't have to go. We that just take over, over your stadium. And you'll be we like could beat you little crappy game. game, and that's that. <laughs> Listen to me. Listen to me, yesterday. And you ain't doing it right. You ain't doing it right. You go in from the twenty second and come home. No, Christmas that morning, right? The game is the game is Sunday night, Sunday four o'clock. That means I have the overnight into Fort Lauderdale. Because they don't overnight in Miami. Overnight in Fort Lauderdale and try to get on that Christmas Day flight and hopefully that flight ain't full. And miss we, got, we can huh? go bug the flights now, nah, boy. But you tempting me, but you really tempting me, but anyway. I, I kind of want to see the Jets game you. too, though. I kind of want to see that Jets home game too. I know about you, but I look at the schedule. I look at MJ yesterday. I say we go into Miami. We go into Carolina. Oh, and of course, she said we go into New York for the opener. Because you know she love up some New York City. So we go into New York for the okay. opener. We go into Carolina. We go into so you're going to the Jets Christmas. game. You're going to the Jets game. No, we're going to the Giants game in New York. Okay, okay. Then the Jets in Dallas is the following week. But we definitely got Carolina marked down, make that a comedy run. 
-hmm. you know, do a gig over there in Carolina at the club and make it a good weekend. Mm -hmm. Miami, okay. you know how that is. There's probably two more in there that I want to send. And if I get permission from the wife, me and you got to make that solo mission to Philadelphia inside their stadium where we wear black and black and talk stink about the Eagles on the down low. But don't get locked up in the jail in the stadium. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who tell you I can be talking stink with the Eagles and I don't like dollars? Now, how that's supposed to work? I might go to my Eagles jersey. Put, I might you put go my Eagles jersey the Eagles. on. Do that, do that, and then I could wear my cowboy jersey and me and you could argue and we could beat up each other and nobody will get involved. We can Niggas have a fake fight like you, wrestling. Help me, Especially if you win. If you be beating me, they'll help you, boy. They'll help Man, me. Listen, listen, don't worry. You'd have to let me beat you. have to let me beat the power out of you. And then they wouldn't, they'll just laugh. Well, look like I can get monkey stomp. Because I ain't going to let you beat the powder out of me. I might let you okay, put a couple okay. of blows on me to look good, but I ain't going to let you beat the powder out of me. I, gotta okay. hit I know, I know, I know, I know. Now, but if I, you but want, you know, one, one, one of the things could, I want to say, and, and we can go to Jerry's network, world and watch that all game. All the networks are happy because they all got some big games. CBS is happy, ESPN is happy. They all got big games. So it's going to be, it's going to be like every week there's a game that will have the whole. NFL buzzing like almost like a playoff game. And Freddie, I want to let you know something too. A lot of people want to get on my Dallas Cowboys. Oh, y'all, when y'all win a Super Bowl and all of this and all of that, and we hate you and all that. Who's the team that could be in prime time the most again this year? How about them Cowboys? Y'all got but seven, eight. Y'all got but seven, eight. Four, seven. How many? Yeah. Seven. How about them Cowboys? Huh? Yeah, <laughs> but that might either y'all get the most prime time, or that might be people that's want to see y'all talk about Karim that much. Either way, sorry to disappoint you. For those of you want to see us and love us, we in prime time. For those of you who hate us, come take this L in prime time. Okay. I only interested in All one right. game. New Christmas Eve, four twenty-five p.m. The Dallas Cowboys in Miami Stadium. Dark against tour. That's all I want to see. Cook against Hill. That's all I want to see. Hey, Pearly did an excellent job yesterday, Naughty, hosting the show. I'm tuned in for news on Strong and the Colts. I get your update on Strong and the Colts right now. They dropped yeah, it no, some I wide receivers. Him, I was going to find out some stuff. He, I, I did find out he was the, he's the fifth, fifth string wide receiver for the Colts. He had a concussion in week 14. Um, so he missed a couple. He missed a couple of games, but he's he. he so he just expect to see what he can be at OTAs and what's going on with with them. But um, well, actually, he was actually yeah. making some some headway last year in the preseason, and they expected him to play play more. But he did have injuries. I'm thinking nothing for a rookie quarterback than a six foot five wide receiver or six four wide receiver. Yeah, yeah. He had some potential. And they like him coming out of Charleston in Carolina. So let's see where it pans out. Um, here's another text. Do like him. Naughty. Draymond is going to injure LeBron James tonight. Oh, Lord. Naughty. Welcome back. Pearly held it down for you. But listen, that sock fella, he needs to learn how to respect the Yankees. Need some Yankee respect into him. Oh, Lord. If you don't do it for tell me in the text, tell, tell Pearly, Mr. Evans, give us a little Yankee Evans. respect for the late tell Frank Mr. and Evans, the Yankee Simmons, man. Tell Mr. Evans to leave me alone. And listen, are you saying? I believe Evans gets your file, you know, because you said that all night. No, no, see, tell Mr. Got, Evans to leave two, me alone. He got three things that he don't like about me. The fact that I'm a Dodger fan. The fact that I'm a soccer, and most of all, the fact that I'm from Chippin' Arm. Oh, he got an issue with Chippin' Arm? He got an issue with them because them three things I got. He just, you know, he just, you know. Mm. Yeah, I think he's mm. the old East Street right. dude or something like that. I ain't sure. We got a, we got a call up early, and then we got to get to the break. So let's grab this caller real quick. Talking as Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Who's this? Yes, Naughty. Um, Pearly did a splendid job yesterday, especially the interview he did with Toby Smith. That was awesome. Um, Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, he did an awesome job with Toby Smith yesterday afternoon. Listen, man, I like I he's said, he's just a he, veritable Gardner Minshew. Yeah, <laughs> 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 I I told him by by the end of this month the Yankee will be showing some dramatic improvement over over in the standings. 
And, 21 um, and 18 as we speak. And, We're and, two and, straight. and I, I expect that to come to happen just like I said yesterday. But what I, what I call about today is that all the Haman need to put on their colors and go to the Sydney Poitier Bridge where, where they're having the, the beach soccer. We are in the quarter here. We Correct. need to bring them, bring them across the line. We got to go there and cheer them on. They start at 630, so they only got another hour. We got to get to the Sydney Poitier Bridge and cheer the Bahamian team on. We, got to, we need to win. We home. And admission is free. And it's, it's free. free. Yeah, I'm glad that you mentioned that. Free. Cost you nothing. And some so good food point you brought up there. So I, I, I want you to elaborate a little more on that, but that's what we need to do, because I'm in there as I speak. But that's going to be going on all weekend long. And it, yeah, and but we want, to, we, want to, we want to stay in contention. That's Correct. The bottom and that's line. what I mean. That's God is yeah, the we don't, we don't, we don't see the foreign teams playing yeah, the semis and the jumping jet. We yeah, took we a tough loss against Mexico, but I think we'll the, be all right. To, to cheer the team on, we lost a close one. That could have gone either way, so we need to be there now to bring our, 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 our team across the line. I agree with you. And we need to All support right. these yeah, events, especially later. when they're home. When we're home and we have the opportunity to support, we need to. Yeah, but the same thing goes well because remember the Bahamas did well in the last and a lot of that had to do with being on home time. Home so cooking. we need to go and make this happen. Great point as always, caller. All right, sir. Have a great weekend, man. Yeah, Let's get to the break. And, and, and y'all, y'all continue to, 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 to keep 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 that, that those those guys in our in our prayer and make sure that we get across the line. I can to do what I could do. Go okay. go do it and take your cowbell and your vessel. Oh yeah, definitely. You never I have on all my colors and I'll be there. And I'm trying to get some more friends to follow me and get this thing going. We got to we gotta pull this one off. I can pass her on my way to Jokers. So when you see me in the stadium, hail me. All right, Big Yankee? Yeah, man. Definitely. All right, my brother. All right, my brother. All right let's get to the break, Madam Producer. On the flip side of the break, Pearlie and I'll pick it up. We're talking sports. Well, on the flip before side, we take forget. the break, why I have to have that ugly dude producing me every day now? You got a female producing you today. What, what, what What's about that? What's that about? Because you're pearly and you're a dolphin. And I'm naughty and I'm a cowboy. And that's how that go. Uh, who is she pulled for? None of the above. Okay. All right. Carry on smartly. got prostate cancer. My family didn't know if I was going to live. At Camp Days, I got an appointment. They presented me with treatment options, and we set up a robotic prostatectomy. When my scans came back, there were no signs of cancer. They don't see you as a number. They see you as a part of the family. I'm going on with my life. That's a real gift. Call us at Cancer Treatment Centers of America. Experience the pure deliciousness of Dunkin's Glazed Donut Breakfast Sandwich. This sweet and savory breakfast treat stacks a fluffy egg and smoked bacon sandwiched inside a split classic Dunkin' Glazed Donut. Make it a combo with lightly seasoned hash browns and your favorite freshly brewed Dunkin' coffee. Stop by your favorite Dunkin' today and take breakfast to a fun and tasty level with the Dunkin' Glazed Donut Breakfast Sandwich. The Bahamas runs on Dunkin'. People, what you thinking? We want something different. Huh? People, what you wanting? We want up the government. I can tell them no more smoking. We want to see it function. I can tell them no more joking. <laughs> We want local government. We want local government. We want local government. Shut up for local government. Sign the petition and find out more information at risebahamas.net. George! 
shoes and accessories is your one-stop shop for all your footwear needs. Whatever the occasion, John's is confident you will find what you're looking for. Among our always growing collection of amazing and trendy style, we cover women, men, children, the whole family. Together with John's great prices and helpful and friendly customer service, your experience in shopping with us will be time well spent. Too busy to come in store? Shop with us online. www.johnshoes.com John's also now carries small home appliances. So come on in today at John's where we put fashion at your feet. This is Guardian Radio 96.9 FM, Nassau, Bahamas. Friday, May 12th edition continues right now. And uh, Purdy. Yes, sir. Before, before we talk basketball, before we get into basketball and baseball, and you know, uh-huh. we got the, the, the final 10 today. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. With, uh, with Stephen A. Smith, as a matter of fact, breaking down the Lakers and the Warriors. And Stephen A. says it's going seven. Yeah, he says that, yeah. So we'll hear what Stephen A. got to say. We're going to hear what Perkins got to say and some other ESPN analysts got to say about that big game tonight on the ride home. Speaking of the, of the Lakers, though, now, I want to tell you something that I read that was sent to me that I read, and I had no intention of going there, but I have to go there now to prove a point. So you know I got to make a reference about your boy. Oh, the Lord. picture that was sent to me, no, no. The picture that was sent to me was a picture. Oh, you mean the green did for the, the Instagram thing? The green did? No, no. This it's way, 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 way deeper than that. Just hear me, Curly, okay. and look what I'm facing, and 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 it's scary. Kobe's oldest daughter, Lord bless the dead, Kobe, R.I.P. Mamba, Natalia Bryant got accepted to where? USC. Full ride. Brilliant child, smart girl, all right? Brains. The Bronsexuals have taken that opportunity to put a picture up saying, and this is the part that galls me, two Laker legends kids to attend USC. Time out, hold up, pause. LeBron ain't no damn Laker legend. He may be a legend in Cleveland. He may be a legend, but he ain't no Laker legend. That's number one. So if he wins the title this year, does he become if he wins the title this year, does he become a Laker legend? No, sir. You got to start at three or more to be getting a legendary category with the Lakers. Heck, so Shaq, five or Shaq, more. Shaq, what you Shaq, talking? Shaq a Laker legend. Shaq got three. So we'll say if you want to say Shaq is a Laker legend that came in, that's the that's the watermark there. It starts is with Kirk, three. Is, is, is um, Kirk Rambis a Laker legend? He's a Laker legend as being a role player and being one of the most horrible re- um, free throw shooters ever and brick layup. But he was, you know, he was a muscle man, dirty player and all of that. But he wasn't no superstar. He wasn't no face of the league. Fisher, he wasn't legend. no legend. Huh? Derek Fisher, Laker legend? Yeah, Fisher's a Laker legend, man. Way down the totem pole, but he in the legend okay. club. Okay. Point f- right. four seconds against San Antonio for the win. We'll always make him down in the Lakers legend stuff. Okay. He could have been higher, but um, old boy almost <laughs> beat the break at Barnes. It was a pass through cup of coffee, Laker. It was uh, was Ty- so, is Tyrone Lue a Laker legend? No. No, sir. Okay. A- okay. And AI step over him. Like you was garbage, but didn't oh, wasn't he the reason that when when in that in that series when AI went off on us in game one, 
they put him put him to put D on the AI and basically it was a factor in terms of the Lakers winning that championship. No, sir. He had he had six fouls, he used them well. The factors to that championship yes. was Kobe and Shaq, okay? Okay. Okay, all right. I know something. Yeah, I, I thought he neutralized AI. That's I know. I know. I know. I see what you're trying to do there, Pearly. I see what you're trying to do there. <laughs> Krupa Cousin is not a legend. Okay? Okay. All right. But listen, he has been yes, the sir. voice of reason in my life. I, you, 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 you called me up. I had one or two boys to get at you. I had you. But anyway, go ahead. Okay. Carry go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, no. You don't catch me. So that's good. Listen. But check this out. The MJ called me. And she says, sweetie. You really shouldn't get too upset. She said, let me tell you what would really upset you. If Natalia Bryant and Bronny James hooked up, got married, and had kids, <laughs> then you would have to be stuck forever. You, MJ, I with you. I They're hope they stay MJ. at two separate parts of the campuses. They bump into each other from time to time, and when they do... My daddy wouldn't want me to date you, and my daddy wouldn't. Yeah, we can leave that alone. Listen, and, uh, I get some. I get, I, I get. I get a couple of cousins at USC. You know, I got to give them a call and see if they can do the matchmaking. And then, the selfish part of me is, if the genetics can line up, and it's a boy, and he got that mamba mentality, and the mamba cojones, and maybe you know a little bit of LeBron skill, boy, well, watch it, watch it. And then, he, and then he becomes LeBron, the, LeBron James the third. No, 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 but that's okay, because that'll never happen. You know that'll be Kobe, <laughs> LeBron, James, the third. Or even Kobe could be in there, but, but bottom line is I would always be able to say, because he take off the Kobe. That's why. Okay. That's that mamba blood. Okay. That's that mamba blood. LeBron's actual is to spin out a different road, but anyway. Of course. That's spinning nah, any which way they can. can. They say, love spinning. That you can say two Laker, two Laker greats, but a Laker, a one Laker legend and a Laker great. Kids no, two Laker members. greats would have been fine with me. I could have lived with that. That legend word, buddy. No, no, you can't say you can't. No, no, see, see, no, I love a problem with that because Kobe is the legend. He's the great. So you can't say and two I, Laker greats. And I, I, I'll, tell, I'll, tell, I'll put it to you like that. You look or you at can the say Celtics a Laker franchise. great child joined the Laker legend child. Ah, <laughs> uh, but you, you, you look at, I'll take myself out of the Lakers and I'll put it to the subjects, okay? At the same time, there are certain Celtic legends. You feel me? Yeah. I mean, it could never be a legend. Well, I understand. Bird is a legend. You know, Casey Jones is a legend. Kevin McHale is a legend. Robert Paul Parrish Pierce. is a legend. I don't know. Paul I don't but know. But I don't think Garnett. I don't, I don't consider Garnett a, 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 a Celtic legend. No. Oh, no. Paul Pierce for career longevity being there. But, yeah, Durant, he was passing through. Ray Allen, same way. Let's go to the phone lines. Talking as Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Who's this? Yeah, man, down, Naughty. What's going on, bro? And he go, just call it a check if you're really you put Rick Fox as a Laker <laughs> legend or Laker great or a cup of coffee or what? Uh, because great. Rick Fox won three championships, but he also was married to Vanessa Williams, who was one of the hottest dime pieces at the time in L.A. He's a Laker legend. <laughs> okay, thank you. All right. <laughs> I mean, right. that, that's an honest answer, right? That, that, I can live with that. I can live with that. And I know Rick Hall listening. Rick Hall at your boy. You know me and Rick Cool. I mean the doggy business, but that make you a legend, dog. Three championships. I I played the defense. I, but I didn't like him. But I really didn't like him. But I didn't like him for that, though. I didn't like but, him. But listen. Yeah, let's move on. Hold on. Let me tell you something. You know number three on my list. Behind Holly. Oh. And, 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 and one other, like Taraji, just be flip-flopping in there from time to time, you know? Uh -huh. Very strong number three from the Friday times, from early on, but especially from Friday. It's near long. And boy, when Udoka yeah, got in trouble, I was a happy camper on my celebrity crush list with my wife has allowed me to have. Yes, uh -huh. boy, near back on the market in my book. Yeah, near, near, even when she was on Fresh Prince. Man. Nah, when she and I should have known. NCI, NCI, I should have known. Bill was a little, little, you know what, she, from back then, you know. But she, no, but she put on some weight when she gone to NCIS, though. That's okay. She, she, she's a little chunky, but she still look good. Wait. Anyway, we should do a show Holly, dedicated Holly, to that in the four o'clock hour. Holly, 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 way up there. Holly, way up there. Hey, wait. <laughs> Bernie, we got this young dude. I swear to God. 
You must be like Cougars, young man. You know what he done me? Angela Bassett what? got all of them beat. Stop it. Ooh, he ain't joking, though. He ain't joking. But, but I know he got them all of the beat. Hey, hey, listen. Fine. Angela Bassett is the living infomercial to black don't crack, buddy. Yeah. Ooh, buddy? She's a, yeah. <laughs> buddy. Anyway, I digress. Let's get yeah. back to sports. The next thing we can put up our top 10 crushes. Next thing to be put up our top 10 crushes and all getting all kind of trouble this weekend. Let's move on. Hey, we can do our top 10 sports. Who try to put Serena on their list? They'll fight. But uh, Angel Reese on my list. <laughs> oh, hey, Winner Fernandez is on our list, on both our lists. <laughs> well, of course, both our lists. She could be one or two. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. it's 540 Pearly. We got Stephen A taking us home today. So we're gonna get we got a couple more minutes left. But um as we get into the weekend, man, let's have a look at the baseball front. You know, we had the yeah. caller earlier my, my, talking my daughter, about my daughter's really my daughter's actually starting to tick, you know. We got time to yep, coming in there the day. There was an interesting article out today saying that the beat down the Dodgers got last year, that sweep the Dodgers got last year in the playoffs is would be good for them this year because they can put a chip on the shoulder. They angry. They were embarrassed, and they and they have now they have something to play for. What? And, and it, it's gonna be a grind too because the team is not the same team. You know, you lost Justin Turner, you lost Cody Bellinger, you lost Trey Turner, you lost Anderson, the pitcher. So you lost four key players from last year. You replace you you, you replace uh, them with two rookies. Yeah. You know who both are than those but two Pearly. did last year. But Pearly. You know, we're looking at it right now in the American League. Yankees only a game out of the wild card. You know that, right? No, no, I know that. Yeah, I know that. I, know that. I told you that. I said, why are you in the last place? And how place the American the League East is in it? Yankees, Blue Bears, think, Red Sox, I Orioles. I think if it all ends, everybody in it except you all, eh? Yeah, pretty much. If it ended the day, we'd be out because they take the top six, right? Top three. Top three and then and then no, the, wild the three cards. the three division winners and then the three wild cards. Correct. Top so six if it overall. ends the day, if it ends the day, Baltimore, Boston, right. and Toronto will be wild cards. And Yankees will be out by a game. So I and say, by game. ain't nothing to worry about, Yankee Nation. We doing what we normally do. We starting to get into our May and June hot streak into July. We got Frankie the Yankee Simmons looking down, pulling strings upstairs. We could be fine. We could be fine. Calm down. My my only my 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 concern about the Yankees is not whether they'll make the playoffs, because uh, they, they'll probably make if they push on the shelf they'll always they'll make the wild card. My thing is if you're gonna jump, you gotta jump a lot of teams. That means you gotta beat all of those teams. The good thing and about then, the teams in front of us you're are not playing, division, you're not playing the sixteen games anymore. You're only playing thirteen games at each other this year, bitch. Three less games, so it it it, it makes it a real it makes it interesting to watch. Yes, it does. Good point about the 13 matchups instead of 16. But at the end of the day, the Yankees in there. Crazy. All right. He's 12 strikeouts well, no, no, away no, no, from another on. major league record. Hold on. The Hinton Crazy got the pants beat off him last start. Last start, but. He gave, six runs. he gave up six runs his last start. Prior to that, pitching crazy. He was pitching really well. Yeah. And you, you get one of those. Strikeout. I mean, Kershaw. Chris Shaw got one of those and came right back and pitched a gem. So you get them. It's not what he does. I think he pitching tonight for you all or tomorrow night. I think it's tomorrow night. Might be tonight. Let me double check it. But you know who's on the way. No, I'm going to pitch for you all tonight. Uh, 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 huh? He pitching for you all tonight. All right. So it's tonight instead of tomorrow. But you know who's on the way to the Yankees. And he should be there soon. And I think this is going to make a whole lot of difference. Um, Rondon. Off an injury? Remember now. Yep. I didn't, know he, I didn't know he was out. Yeah, nothing major. I mean, but based on what I'm seeing, y'all got sprint, uh, sprint, mobile for the season, springs out for the season. Yep. And then you, and then you got Donaldson um, with a hammy and Stanton with a hammy. They should be back pretty soon. And what you're failing to realize too, that uh, the Yankees got um, some more reinforcements on the way, and Severino yeah. may be trade bait now, and they might play fill in some plugs. All of 
happy. And, and a lot see. of people looking at Glaive Torres as well, too. For a trade? Correct. Okay. But Faria Falifa and, and Torres, the two of them, I think the Yankees will move either of them if they need to. Okay. Because remember, they got that other kid in the minors waiting to come up. The kid from the Dodgers? Correct. Anyway, Purdy, okay. we got to get to the break. Out of the break, you know they take. You know who taking us home? Stephen A. Smith. So who you okay. got? Who you got tonight? I can let you pick him. Ah, uh, let's see. Well, of course the Lakers tonight. Of course the Lakers tonight. That one over. And I honestly believe, I really believe that um, the Knicks can play their butts off tonight and take it to Game Seven. So the Knicks, the Knicks tonight. And either way, I'll take the Knicks. I'll take the Knicks and the, and the number and the, and the on the points, and the Lakers tonight. And I'll take the Lakers. What the Lakers is? Well, oh, I'll take the Lakers. I'll take the Lakers on the points. So the Lakers by two and a half. I mean by plus two and a half. And you like the Knicks to win tonight too. I like the Knicks. I'll take the, the points with the Knicks. I think if they lose, they lose by better in the bucket. But there you go. I wanna. Send a quick shout out real quick before I go to my mother-in-law down there in Freeport and all my sister-in-laws in Freeport. I love you all. Bad, 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 bad. Happy Mother's Day. Enjoy it to the yes, fullest. Happy Mother's Day. And to my sister-in-laws here in New Providence. Happy Mother's Day. Love you all to pieces. And of course to my beautiful wife, MJ. Happy Mother's Day. Love you to the end and back and to the back again and back. Laps. Love you. Happy so, Mother's Day, everybody. Happy Mother's Day. And everybody who's lucky enough to have their moms with them, make sure she has a special day. Of all right? Course. Yes. And for yes. those of you who don't think about all the good times and all the good memories, and love yourself. Because you know mommy Amen. wants you to be happy on that day. So enjoy Amen. your sports. Enjoy your weekend. And we'll see you Monday. Thank you immensely, Pearly, for holding it down. Pop say the Dolphins are going to kick them in the... Come and see me. We have a championship thing. So why Excellent. I feel like you and them going to be watching plenty of football this year is beyond me, but... Bring some snacks when you bring the fryer when you come, and we'll wake it up. Sound like a plan. Sound like a plan. Uh, all right. Have a great we'll do, weekend. We'll do, we'll do some from Madam Producer in Studio, Mr. Producer Kermy on, on location. Y'all have a great weekend, and we'll see you on Monday. We out. From the fried chicken experts, creators of the Kentucky Chicken Sandwich, comes a whole new way to enjoy barbecue. The KFC Crispy Barbecue Sandwich features a 100% premium white meat Kentucky Fried Chicken Filet, stacked with bacon, cheddar cheese, crispy fried onions, and barbecue sauce. A barbecue crispy sandwich is available only for a limited time. Try one today and enjoy a whole new level of flavor. KFC, it's finger licking good. The sixth edition of the Bahamas Games are on the way. July 7th through the 15th, get ready for inter-island sporting competition in the spirit of unity and camaraderie. Which island is going to win? It's the Bahamas Games. Our nation, our talent, and look out for the B Games crew coming to your island soon. For more information, call 809-thebahamasgames.org. Dreams come true. Play with Island Games. We paying more out to you. Don't mind the noise in the market. You get Island Games is spicy, and spicy is tradition. So when you play, play Island Games, we put in Bahamian's voice. Play Island Games. We like them other jokers. We've been here from the start, from the bike to computer. Island Games, we can make your dreams come true. We playing with Island Games. George Shoes and Accessories is your one-stop shop for all your footwear needs. Whatever the occasion, John's is confident you will find what you're looking for. Among our always growing collection of amazing and trendy styles, we cover women, men, children, the whole family. Together with John's great prices and helpful and friendly customer service, your experience in shopping with us will be time well spent. Too busy to come in store? Shop with us online, www.johnshoes.com. John's also now carry small home appliances, so come on in today at Johns, where we put fashion at your feet. This is Guardian Radio 96.9 FM, Nassau, Bahamas.
Hell yeah, they closing it out tonight. Molly, I picked this series. I picked Lakers in six and Denver. Wait, I need to pause one second. Perk, you know what? I need to give you some props because I remember asking a question on this show. Are the Lakers more likely to win it all or get bounced in the first round? And you were the only person that really kind of believed in them before even the playoffs started. I just, I, I love how she does that. Well, I love go, how she girl. does it. She's only, she go, only been, she only been working with you me go, for over Molly. seven years. She has yeah, never I stopped. Th a is, segment in the middle of it to sit up there and say, Stephen you, A., I got to take a uh, moment to give you your props it. in seven years. I just want to point that out. She, she, she just, I, I just want to point that out, America. I just want to point that out. You know Molly, what I'm saying? Let me get them. She, she shouldn't have to stop the segment to give you props. She did it for you. Because you stop the segment to give yourself props all the time. Me? Yeah, we can't. Me? Yeah, you, yeah, you. Yeah, you don't give me the opportunity. Yes, you. I would never yes, do that. You're right, Perk. Yes, you. All right, we'll get yes, to it that. now. Go ahead, Burke. Tell me why you think yeah. they're going to close it out. Well, 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 one, okay, Anthony Davis is playing. Two, I believe that Darvin Ham is going to make some type of adjustment, adjustment tonight, and the role players are going to play better at home. Now, we talk about AD injury, but Andrew Wiggins is not 100%. He's questionable. He's dealing with a little injury that he had last game with his ribs. But here's the sole reason why I'm picking the Lakers to close it out tonight. Jermichael Green and what he posted on his IG, basically shooting a shot at Braun, putting the cap, calling them cap about the Lakers flopping and things to that nature. What? He didn't yeah. He didn't I didn't learn see that. What did he yeah, do? I'll I, I send it to you. He didn't learn from Dylan Brooks' last series to leave that man alone. You're going on the road. And again, this is where inexperience kick in. This is when you don't realize the moment. And I know, I understand, he have a lot of confidence. You got Steph Curry, you got Klay Thompson, you got Draymond, but you're not even in the rotation anymore, okay? And you're poking the bat. Here go another example of people with, not, with no experience going into – just going on social media and doing dumb stuff or saying dumb things, why would you want to get this man fired up? But I appreciate you, Jermichael Green, because we're going to see the best version of LeBron James come tonight. <laughs> you know, that, 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 that really irritates me. That really <laughs> irritates me. If that came from Klay Thompson or Steph Curry or Draymond, that would be different because they're going to be in the lineup. But when you got a brother that's barely in the rotation, and you talking smack. You know, you put that on us on other people. That really irritates so, so me. So SA, SA, let me tell you, let me tell you what he do so you could so you could know what happened. All right. So LeBron responded to Steve Kerr about them flopping, right? After right. the post game and saying, we don't flop, we don't teach that, we attack the paint. Jamaica Green goes to his IG and put a cap on Braun head and posts it on his IG story. Basically calling LeBron James a uh, cow. You don't think LBJ saw that? Yeah, yeah, he saw it. You know why? Because I sent it to him. So I know he seen it. I <laughs> sent it to him. Damn it, I got Lakers in six. Yeah, I sent it to him, Molly. I always, look, I stay petty so I don't have to get petty. That's what we talk about on NBA Today. Yeah, I sent it to him. Yeah, I sure did. I will say this to you. I don't blame yeah. you for that. I get it. And I will admit that that makes my position that much harder because obviously I'm here <laughs> thinking Warriors going to sneak up in there and they go force game seven. Now I'm, I'm considerably more worried because of what you just said. That damn Jermichael, oh my God, I can't. Oh, however, <laughs> however, I'm going to think that what's going to supersede that is the level of urgency, the Steph Curry's and Klay Thompson's and Draymond Green's of the world understanding that this is it. You lose this game, you go home, you lose this game. Change is probably inevitable in Golden State, whether it's Draymond Green, whether it's Bob Myers. Hell, it might even be Jordan Poole, so who decided not to show up since he got his bag, okay? We might have to consider all of these things. Who the hell knows what's going to happen with the Golden State Warriors? I think the urgency of the moment takes over the day. They go in the Tinsel Town, Los Angeles, California, packed house, crypto.com arena, the name I still can't stand. I miss saying the Staples Center. But the bottom line is this. The Los Angeles Lakers, they should win this game. LeBron James should have a lot to do with them winning this game. But I'm the type of dude, you got to show me you taking Steph Curry out. I don't believe it. 
I'm going to hold on to what I said, and I'm going to go down with the ship. I had the Warriors in seven, and I'm going to stay with that. They got to win the night, obviously, or it's over. I think that they're going to force the game seven. I actually believed that the Warriors had a, rather the Lakers probably would lose game six and go win game seven. Okay, and I'll address game seven on a later date, but I'm staying with my Warriors pick, but I believe the Warriors are going to win the night, even though Jermichael Green has just made Is that head or heart or just trying to stay consistent with your pick? I'm trying to stay consistent with my pick. So you really think the Lakers let, are going to win let me, let me explain why. Tell me. Because we underestimate that kind of stuff, but it really, really does matter. When you barely make it a rotation and you talk and smack, you've actually irritated your teammates. Who do mm -hmm. who are in the rotation? Who needs to step up the most for the Warriors to win Game Six? To me, it's Clay Thompson. I just mm. think that when Clay Thompson gets it going, which he's known to do in Game Sixes, um, that they, it just brings a different dimension to the Warriors, uh, a, a more formidable dimension that really, really speaks to the championships that they've won over the last decade. Steph Curry is going to be Steph Curry, even when he's struggling. He's not shooting great from three-point range. Over the last few games, they go over the last couple of games, like 24% or something like that. But the bottom line is, is that when Klay Thompson gets going along with Steph Curry, I think the Warriors are virtually unbeatable. And I think that's going to be required tonight against the Los Angeles Lakers. I think you need it. If you don't do it, um, it's a problem. By the way, Kendrick Perkins, just a note that I wanted to throw out to you about LeBron James. In game sixes in his postseason career, I think that LeBron James' record is like 10-3. and three. Mm. The three losses he's had in game sixes, whenever he loses the game, game six, he's lost the game seven. Just wanted to point that out. Those three losses. Interesting. Whenever he's lost the game six, he would lose the game yeah. seven. Well, Two well, of those three games were on the road. Style points for that delivery. Two of those Good three job. games on the road. Just wanted to well, throw that out to you. From my percentages, it says that he don't lose game six as often because he's That's in and three. That's first That's thing, right. okay? That's right. Second thing is, when you blessed us with your presence out here in L.A. on NBA Today, and it was you, it was you Malika, and myself, I told you before the series started that this series is going to come down to the matchup of who? Draymond Green and Anthony Davis. And that's what it's been in the entire series. If you go back and you look at the two, two, two W's that the Warriors have, it's because of the elevation of Draymond Green and him rising to the occasion. You look at game two, Draymond Green locks Anthony Davis up. I believe he had 11, 8, and 11, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. If you go back and you look at game, if you go back and you look at game five, Draymond Green, 20 and 10, a defensive prowess, pushing the pace, wasn't with all that friendly nonsense, talking noise, clapping in faces, yelling, getting into it with uh, Jared Vanderbilt and things of that nature, and, and Dennis Schroeder. This is what's... It's